We fight for that itch. Rarely do I see any American Italians eating in here. But I'm funny how? I mean, funny like I'm a clown. I amuse you. The real quality is that you live us. Yes! 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 Hey there, welcome to Real Genius. I am Chris Wagner, culture critic for the Dallas Morning News. And I'm Robert Walonsky, city columnist for the Dallas Morning News. We are joined by the great Don Burks. Well, thank you for having me. Of the Dallas me. Morning News, who is going to prevent us, hopefully, from white man splaining Beyonce's lemonade. That was my great fear. That, was, that wasn't that Robert's fear, so. <laughs> it's a role I like playing. We love Don, so. <laughs> white man explain spoiler? Yes. <laughs> That's what I do. <laughs> right. yeah, the wheels are off right now. So everybody knows what Lemonade is by now. This is Beyonce's visual album that yes. came out uh, last Saturday. A lot of people have been theorizing about it all week and coming up with all kinds of different stuff. I'm fascinated by just the number of different levels you can look at this on. You can look at it as music, obviously, mm -hmm. all kinds of different styles. You can look at it as music. That you can, is, uh, that you can is, look at it as music. A, uh, Absolutely. <laughs> you can also, quite a and then you can also look at it as, you know, the, what kind of shade is Beyonce throwing on Jay-Z. And then you right. can look at it as an amazing piece of filmmaking. Right, because when you, when you take them both, when you marry them, yes, you can just listen to the music, just listen to the 12 tracks, but when you take the film that came out of this, um, and the bumpers where she used the poetry, you know, from the from the British poet Laure laureate, it's um, very powerful, and it it led to all sorts of emotions. And the marriage of the film with the music lends you to take it a step further from being just throwing shade at Jay Z. Right. Although there is a lot of that. There's a lot of that. I mean, there's whole oak so tree worth of shade. Oh, so we assume. So we assume. We assume. Let me just throw this out there because yeah. I was on a panel the other day. We had this long talk about separating the art from the artistry. Mm -hmm. There are instances, you know, you make the case for and against all the time. It's, that's sort of what we do in a lot of ways. But if you, is it necessary to take it as autobiography? I don't know if it's necessary. It's really hard not to, especially Why? when he Why shows can't it up be like fiction? later. It's, it's, I'm sure it's inspired in right. some part by her right. imagination. And right. and and it's hard to it's hard to believe that when you have so many of the celebrity watchers who have given us a timeline, a rundown. I mean, you go back to when Solange supposedly in the elevator with Jay Z, that was Rachel Roy was supposedly the reason why she attacked. right. That was the so, trailer for Lemonade, right. <laughs> not Rachel Ray. <laughs> not right, Rachel right. Ray. That was the trailer who, for Lemonade. That was who, the teaser. Who really came back in a good way? She offered a recipe yeah, for Lemonade. Just, I just want to cook you some food. <laughs> but, 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 but look, that's my guy. So so we so watch, I'm watching it. You're right. Should we watch a scene yeah. and then let's watch then the trailer, the clip, yeah. and then we'll right. come back and talk about it. The past and the present merge to meet us here. What are you hiding, lovers, as trees? Why can't you see me? So I will say, I don't think it's strictly autobiographical, but I think art that feels this personal has to be on some level about the artist. But art that feels this personal is going to be interpreted as autobiographical without necessarily being that. Not by the, not by the letter, no. You're it's autobiographical in as much as that it's about the, the intent, the ambition, the ideas, and the drive behind it. Uh, the things that are sampled, uh, whether it's the Malcolm X speech or whether it's the poems that are used or the, or the imagery. But I don't know if I necessarily watch this and I'm thinking, wow, I feel like this is just the world's greatest episode of TMZ. Oh, no, God, no. <laughs> but there are so many people that do, and she had to have known. It feels like she had to have known that this was going to produce the talk that it has. It's still trending in the top five on the Internet. What, we five days later? That's why we're talking That's about it. That's why we're talking about No, we're talking about it because I said to you the other day, we were trying to figure out what to do. We could talk about it. We, this, we do movies usually here every week. The fact is, this to me was the best piece of filmmaking I had seen in a long time. It would be on I my saw it, top ten this year. I saw it well. Saturday night twice. I've seen it a couple of times since. You've I've listened to the album once mm -hmm. uh, by itself. Mm -hmm. um, and I love the album just as much without the visual Same component here. that goes along with it. Are you Becky with the good hair? 
Well, we're going I'm to Bobby with the no hair. <laughs> but I, I think there are, like the Jack White piece is a song that I listen to over and over I again. Like the Kendrick Lamar piece that samples so many different things. The, the Lomax recordings that are used within there. Yeah, Isaac Hayes sample from Walk On By. Right. Just I mean, there's just playing. so many pieces of music that are, it, it reminds me of Paul's Boutique, just in the amount of music and the way they're used throughout. I mean, I just think it, as a piece of artistry. Now, mm-hmm. and then when you can dissect it, I mean, people will be writing papers about Lemonade uh, long after we're dead. It will be studied in colleges, I have no doubt. It will be studied in film classes. It will be studied in black studies. It will be studied uh, in women's studies. I mean, it's just everything that you want can be unpacked for a thousand years in this piece. I think there's so there are so many. I think you're right. There are so many levels of this. The superficial level, which we were talking about earlier, was people who are just taking it at face value. Oh, Jay-Z cheated, she's mad, and this is her way of getting, of telling him how she feels, right. uh, and of telling the world uh, about how she came back around to being with him. But then, you see the other part of it. I saw this as a manifesto. I saw this as her standing up in the formation type way where she said we won't be held down anymore. Zora Neale Hurston famously said that black women were muse of the world and this is Beyonce saying no I'm not going to be that. I have so many feelings from the beginning of this from the beginning of this action until the end and I've listened to it more than once and I've watched it more than once and each time those gut punches are still there from the vibrato in her voice and to the homage to like I mentioned to you earlier to Daughters of the Dust and several other overlooked indie films and she has taken this and like you said it's a masterful look at filmmaking and it will be studied and like it's being studied now. I hate that people were so reactionary with all of those think pieces that came out immediately. All the Terrence Malick references, <laughs> one after the that other. Was right. yeah. That was what I knew. Yeah. I, was, I saw that I think Critic Wire had a, why it is unfair to compare Beyonce's Lemonade to, to compare to both Terrence Malick and Beyonce, right. to <laughs> compare Lemonade to his work. I was like, what <laughs> in the world is going on? I have not seen anything more analyzed or deconstructed mm-hmm. in the last 15 years as I have this and so sure. instantly because I think the reaction to it was so visceral because yes. it is the most visceral piece of filmmaking and music mm-hmm. I mean I think if, if you I watched it a little bit of it with the sound down the yes. images are so potent without the music yes. the music exactly. is so potent without the visuals that once you put them together it is something you spend a lot of time trying to untangle right. and and you know I'm glad I don't have to white man's plan that. <laughs> and, I, and I think that what you can, I think what, I think her intent was to make something that, that hit people um, in such a way, not just hit them, oh, they're going to be humming this, right. or hit them, oh, they're going to be talking about this. She wanted you to feel the pain of the beginning. The um, These were like stages of grief we were watching someone go through. And for an artist to be able to capture that, Thematically, this is an album here, like albums of old. For an artist to capture that thematically through film and marrying it with the tracks is just something that we haven't seen in a long time, which I think is leading to the over-analytical, quote-unquote, think pieces that we're getting from this. They did the same, a lot of the same thing for Formation, which was another well, thing a lot of black people right. are saying, whoa, Beyonce woke up, Beyonce is woke, and now everybody else is too, to the fact that she's woke. Well, what's interesting is that, I'm I'm sorry I hate to interrupt, but to to the formation point, Mm -hmm. I mean, it's interesting when that video comes out, and then when she goes on the Super Bowl and Mm -hmm. freaks out all of white America, and says, oh, crap, the radicalization of Beyonce has taken place, what the hell are we going to do now? The Black Panthers were bad. Right, the Black Panthers. We uh, shouldn't be glorifying. I mean, it's sort of extraordinary how Formation has been lost in all this. It's the last song on Lemonade. It's the last song. It's almost tacked on at the end. Mm -hmm. You sort of forgot, oh, God, that amazing piece of music is also part of this whole project. It's like two separate phenomena, right? right. even though they're part of the same thing. And I want to go back to one thing which I keep thinking about and no one's I, I haven't seen much talk about this amongst all the, the think pieces about this. For this to come out two days after the death of Prince, 
someone with whom she had collaborated at the Grammys mm-hmm. uh, several years ago on the on the medley of Prince hits. Um, it seems in some ways like. All of a sudden, she stepped in to fill that void that was left by his death. I am so glad that you brought that up. I had much the same thought. This um, Someone mentioned that perhaps she should have waited a couple of days. Number one, you can't wait a couple of days. This thing has been planned forever. Yeah, it was all you know, to go on you, HBO. Right, they you can't, can't do really that. that. Number two, this was almost an homage to Prince too because this was what Prince, this type of artistry and this type of release of music on your own terms mm-hmm. was what Prince fought, Prince fought so hard for artists to do. And they were unabashed fans of each other. Right. So this, to me, almost seemed like the best tribute she could have made to someone who used visuals and music much to the same effect. I'm wondering if, if the visual album is going to become something, I mean, it's been done before, but never, Beyonce. never, never like this. Never, right, yeah, exactly. Beyonce. I'm wondering if other people are going to now start going, wow. But this here, is, I can get seven, seven directors mm-hmm. made this movie, a whole bunch of cinematographers. She was one of the directors. Mark mm-hmm. Romanak was one of the directors. Um, there's so many different styles of filmmaking. Yes. And this is which one reason why it's tricky to talk about the visuals, because which visuals, right. which segment, which song? Um, but it's extraordinary they how they seamlessly blend together. I agree. I mean, and I you know, we don't watch this and think it's some herky jerky no, collection no. of and videos. I hear, and I hear people saying, oh, I have just watched a couple of minutes of it here and there. And I was like, watch the whole thing. Watch the whole sit, thing. Sit down, watch it yes. from beginning to end, and it's much more impressive the way it brings all these disparate elements and together. And that's her media genius. She is a media right. genius. She really is. At this point. She knows this stuff backward and forward. She is incredibly savvy. And she knows how to activate like she has this magnificent fan base and she knows how to activate them by by that surface that we're talking about but then she's learning she has learned how to bring people like us into the conversation whereas maybe we would have sat on the sidelines for this had it come from another artist but by her bringing in these great directors and all of this stuff i mean right now to put it in the vernacular i'm staying in for b (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I just am, and I'm, I'm. I'm seriously considering becoming a car carrying member of the Beehive. I just am. How do you do that? Do you have to like sign up online? And I send you a car. I think you have to get a tattoo. Uh oh. Is that like? It's not like being a member of the Kiss Army. Though. No. Right. So lemonade. Um, we all have a lot to say about we it. Do. And she's here in May. She's here in May. She's here in May. And I can't wait to see what she does on that. Um, platform of the stage. I've seen her live. It actually makes me want to go to the right. show. Right. I've I would seen not her live three times, and she always, always. People like to say, "Bring it," but she always has a theme, and she always has these um, visual elements that bring you even deeper into the show than just seeing someone sing to you. And I can't wait to see how she incorporates this. For those who don't know exactly what we're talking about, you can see this on HBO. Um, I watched it on HBO On Demand Mm -hmm. the other night. Um, I DVR'd it. You DVR'd it. And watched it over and over again. And I watched it on on Tidal. I'm going to go watch it as soon as we're done on my phone. Not really. Uh, Don, thanks for joining us. Yeah, thank you very much. Thanks for saving us from ourselves. Thank you for inviting me. (laughs) We appreciate it. Uh, (laughs) Please come back and see us next week. What are we doing? Captain America next week, right? We're doing Captain America Civil War. Right. We're bringing in my kid we, next week. So. Are we really? No. Can we bring Iron Man in <laughs> to get his side of the story? See what he thinks of, of Lemonade there you go. as well. All right. See you later. All right.